Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. It is about, what time is it? About 2.30 on a Saturday afternoon out here in sunny California. Uh, I'm in between my son's basketball games. Uh, he has a tournament today. So I'm actually uh, got some work in on my laptop and then was going to put it away, but thought I'd do a quick video. Uh, my, my dad's up here. My sister's in town. She's in the car. She might even chime in and watch. Um, but I want to talk about being apologetic, unapologetic for wanting to be great in life. Right? So I'm out here. Uh, we had a boot camp this morning. It's warm. Um, so I'm wearing a, uh, I'm wearing a, a sleeveless shirt, right? Got a sleeveless shirt on, right? It's warm. And so, you know, part of me feels uncomfortable. Hey, Jennifer. Right? A part of me feels uncomfortable that I'm out here and people are looking at me like I shouldn't be wearing a tank top or a sleeveless in this nice weather. And it's a, it's a epidemic, right? I think it's an epidemic of people, you know, coming back to average, coming back to the medium, to the mean in their lives, right? The whole world's average, right? Most of the world stays in the middle, academically, fitness-wise, career-wise, finances, most people regress to the mean. That's why it's the mean, the average, right? So I have an I have a allerg uh, allergy, I'm allergic to average, right? Right, Christian? You know me, Christian. Christian's known me for 15 years. I'm allergic to it, right? I think E.T. Eric Thomas says that. I have an addiction to improvement, right? I have an addiction toward tracing greatness. And so I don't apologize for that at all. I don't apologize for one to be what I was born to be, right? What you're born to be, and that's great. It's not average. We didn't come into this world to be average, right? The very first race we were in, as my mentor now, Bo Easton says, the very first race we were in, we won it. 300 million to one odds for you, the sperm that was you, to win the race, to, to fertilize the egg. So our very first race in life for 300, 300 million to one odds, we won. So we not, we're not supposed to be average. And I'm done, I'm done living and apologizing for wanting to be great. So I get into a fight with my, with my boot campers weekly because I want them to show up and really try to be great. Like be great, not average, not 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 good, great. And I I yell, I, I'm passionate about it. I just got finished. What's up, Rusty? Rusty know me from way back when. Rusty know too from Davis. I don't I don't believe in living my life that way. Right? I'm I'm gonna start speaking, you know, to teams and corporations and in venues about about my five steps to greatness. Right? And and step one is you have to really want to be great, right? You want to be in the NBA? You have to really want to be in the NBA. You want to be, you want to lose 30 pounds and be fit? You have to really want to be fit. Not kinda, not, not maybe, not when it feels fucking good. You have to want it, right? So you have to be unapologetic for your desire to be great, to be rich, to be famous, to be lean, to be sexy, to be, to be a, a, a CEO of a company, to be, Whatever it is, stop apologizing for one that. The problem is people around you are trying to pull you back to where they're at, right? And, and, and preventing you from going to oftentimes where they want to go to. And we go around and we feel bad about wanting more, right? We feel bad about wanting to be, be lean, right? We feel bad about wanting to move from our neighborhood to a better neighborhood, Right about wanting to be on the varsity, about wanting to be a starter, about wanting to be great. Stop apologizing for wanting to be great. Right, nothing wrong with that. In fact, we were born to do that. Right, we are predatory animals. It's our job to be great, to conquer. Right, especially if you are, if if, if you are a, a, a man. Right, but but both both genders. Right, we we are not meant to sit here, go through life, and be average. Right, take what life gives us, take what we think we deserve, and move on our way. Fuck that. Be great. 
right? I'm not here. I, I just told my son's team, you know, don't don't walk into on a court and just and just be fine with getting pushed around and be fine with doing okay. Right? Nowhere, nowhere in my life have I ever been like that. Ever. Ever. If I'm going to be involved in something, right, at a high level and for a, 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 a lot of time, I'm going to try to be great at it. Whether it's football or academics or, or in my career when I was in finance or now trying to be a better speaker, trying to be a better businessman. I'm not trying to be average. Right, so I got into an argument with my with my my boot campers because I was talking about, you know, using an analogy, right, in terms of whatever your dream is. In our case, it's about fitness, and so I told them it was on Friday yesterday. I said, go out this weekend and be active, and do something. Try to win, right, one of the two days, right. Try to eat better. Try to work out. Try to win one of the two days, Saturday and or Sunday, because if you lose. Those two games, it's akin to being in a playoff series in basketball, baseball, or hockey, right? If you go down 0-2 in a series, the odds of you winning that series are slim to none. And so if you approach your week like that, whatever it is, right? You want to be a great real estate agent. You want to be a great parent. If you lose both weekend days, if you argue with your wife and lose both weekend days, the odds of you being a better husband that week are slim to none. Right. If you fall behind in your studies or chasing that dream to be a lawyer or whatever, and you fall behind in your studies Saturday and Sunday, the odds of you catching up and getting better towards your journey through the week are slim to none. You have to now win four out of five days. Right. Approach it that way. You have to say, you know what? I'm trying to be great. Not average. Not good. Great. And stop apologizing for that. You're meant to be great, not average. You're meant to do great things. There are things that only you can do in this world, right? Your background, you know, where you come from, your age, your gender, your experiences gives you permission, you the authority to do certain things that nobody else can do. But only if you want to be great in life and not average. All right? So don't look back when you're in your 40s like I am or your 50s or 60s and wish you had tried to be better and wish you had tried to be great. Right? Stop apologizing for one more out of your life. Stop apologizing for one more money, for one to be leaner, right? For one to be smarter, right? Stop apologizing for that stuff and go out there and be great. All right, guys? It's loud. My sister. It's my Are sister. you doing a live video? Live. On what? That's my Hi sister. Hi guys. Is that on Instagram or something? Facebook. Oh, Facebook has a live chat. Yeah, too? say hi. Hey. Hi, Facebook. Ooh. This is my vacation That's here. My... So they on va with they on vacation visiting me. Got to go back in and see my son play. But stop apologizing. Like they know me. I don't. I I don't apologize for wanting to be great. I don't care. I'm going to go in here with my, with my sleeveless shirt on and not apologize for wanting to be lean and strong and smart and, 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 and successful and rich. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you guys. Have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye.